industry is quite uh, ready for it. During the recent uh, exhibition in Bangalore, there was uh, products which were uh, launched with biodiesel uh, powered machines as well as uh, even a one electric machine was launched by the industry. And uh, there is definitely a lot of work going on towards the electrification aspect uh, in our industry. We will work with the government uh, in order to make sure that proper policies and uh, uh, you know, programs and regulations are brought up, brought up in order to facilitate that in a, even in a good way. So I look forward to seeing this and particularly in BC India coming up in January, I should see some more progress in this regard going forward. So I think infrastructure investment by in any country has a multiplier effect to the economy. And for that, in that extent, we believe that the government's focus in driving investment in the infrastructure space is a great uh, starting point for our industry. Uh, it will generate uh, definitely higher demand for our equipment. Our belief is that in the next 10 years, the Indian industry will grow three times and become the second largest uh, market in the world. At the same time, technology will evolve. Uh, we today have all of our of the equipment that are sold in India, uh, roughly 50-55% of the types of equipment are regulated. The balance are not yet regulated. We are working with the government to actually make sure that regulation is widespread and all products are having some kind of uh, emission regulation. And I would say that we are making uh, slow but definitely clear progress and we are seeing that the government is interested to support us. Uh, in addition, I think as the newer technologies like uh, you know, uh, biofuels as well as um, you know, hydrogen based or battery electric machines come in, there will need to be more support from the government particularly to facilitate these cleaner products to be brought to market. And we will work with the government from the industry to facilitate that and I'm very sure they will be welcoming and willing uh, to take this forward. India is a uh, reasonable size market, the third largest market in the world. Uh, and it has a presence of almost all players in the world. There is no dearth of players from whether it is the US, uh, Europe, uh, you know, Korea, Japan, China, you name it, and we have also Indian players. It has been a, a very uh, competitive market and competition breeds innovation in order to survive and to be able to uh, make money in a very competitive environment. Uh, all brands have been investing in innovation. And I would say that India has uh, needs, you know, in order to succeed in India, you need to invest in making products in India and also to doing uh, products that are suitable for India. In that regard, I would say that from a percentages perspective, uh, roughly 55-60% of all content is local in the industry. We have products which are 100% indigenous and we have products which are on an average 50-60% indigenous and there is a small minority of products which are uh, low in volume where the indigenous uh, percentages are much lesser and or, or they are fully imported. Uh, I think as the market becomes bigger, more and more products will start to get manufactured in the country and the direction uh, given and the policy support that the government is giving for manufacturing will also enable that.